Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing today? Welcome to a new live stream. Hola, hola a todos. Bienvenidos a un nuevo en vivo. <laughs> today we are going to do a crossword puzzle. <laughs> and we're going to talk about different Spanish restaurant vocabulary. And, um, well, you're going to have to guess the words. If you're new, this is a crossword puzzle. So you have to guess the words. Uh, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I live stream. Also, visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons to download this crossword puzzle this crossword puzzle you can go to smlessons.com slash games and uh, this crossword puzzle is for free you can download it for free and many more you can find that on smlessons.com slash games and please give this video a like that helps me a lot i hope some people want to play today and also, I want to give a big, big, big shout out to Kay Beck and Stella Sabatini. They are Cafecito members. Thank you so much for the support, Kay Beck and Stella Sabatini. The coffee is delicious and the support is greatly appreciated. If you're interested in helping this channel, that's something really important, <laughs> please consider getting a membership. You can find out more if you click on the join button down below <clears throat> there are different memberships actually and they're all pretty affordable they're really like good perks when getting one and uh, yeah please if you have time and if you want to support this channel check out the memberships okay so I see KS on the live chat, KS says, Astronauta de Azúcar, ¿Cómo te trata la vida? Hello, hola, KS, bienvenido. La vida me trata muy bien <laughs> hasta el momento. Muchas gracias por preguntar. Uh, ¿qué, tal, ¿Qué tal tú? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo estás? Espero que estés bien. ¿Cómo te trata la vida a ti? <laughs> Welcome KS, thank you for asking that. And um, yeah, this is how it works, guys. We're gonna have a crossword puzzle right here in the middle of the screen. And also, uh, well, if you wanna guess the words, please use the live chat for that. And um, as soon as I highlight the word, you can start guessing the the word so don't wait for me to read the definition if you know the answer just go ahead and tell me uh, and we keep score so we have two different scores we have the score for this crossword puzzle and also we have a monthly score and life of pi is winning so far she has won twice already so that is great that's awesome i hope I hope Life of Pi can join us today. And uh, today is the last, the last crossword puzzle of the month. So let's see, let's see what happens. And uh, okay, so I'm going to choose the first word. Okay, so let's see, let's see which one. I usually choose an easy one. And remember, this is all about restaurants okay usually words that you would use at restaurants and um, most of them are nouns so that's something good to know um i think i'm going to do something easy something easy let's do one across uno horizontal so that one is right here right here okay and uh, let's see let's see what this is all about I'm going to read the definition one across and that word has six letters six letters one across the definition is 
Hmm. Just one sec, guys. Okay, so this is some sort of food and it's usually eaten after eating a meal. It's usually sweet as well. Um, so you eat this at the end of your meal, usually. And this is also, this comes in small portions. So what is sweet? And it comes in small portions. And usually you eat it at the end of your meal. So what are we talking about? Aha, uh -huh. so I see an answer here. KS is saying postre, postre. And let me tell you, KS, that you are correct. That's what we're talking about, postre. So let's see the answer. Postre, postre, el postre. And that means dessert. So the dessert, the last thing that you eat um, <laughs> when having a meal and yeah, it's sweet and it's some people really like this. Um, I'm indifferent, <laughs> honestly, but uh, el postre means the dessert. Okay, so KS gets the first point. So let's find <clears throat> the score. And I'm going to have KS here, and KS has one point. One point. Okay, so KS is saying now, Siete horizontal. Me encanta postre después cena. Me encanta el postre después de la cena. That is great, que okay, yes, um, it's good to know. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. So, siete horizontal. Let's see where that word is. Siete horizontal. Um, I think it's more like siete vertical because that's seven down. We don't have seven across. So, uh, siete horizontal. That's right here right here guys and this word has four letters only four letters so it must be an easy one maybe it's easy who knows okay so siete horizontal is seven down it's a noun guys and the definition is um Hang on, guys. Hang on, hang on. I have an issue here. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, seven down, guys. It's a noun, and the definition is a piece of furniture with a flat top and one or more legs. I would say four legs, <laughs> but usually four legs. Providing a level surface on which objects may be placed and that can be used for such purposes as eating and I don't know, you can put anything on that object, on that piece of furniture, but you can eat, you can use it uh, to eat your meal and it's a common thing to find at restaurants. <laughs> I see that KS said first cena, cena, which is a great guess, but your second answer is actually correct, KS. We are talking about mesa, okay? Mesa, la mesa. That's feminine. And let's see the answer. Mesa, la mesa. And that means the table. <laughs> Mesa, the table, um, la mesa. Okay, so KS gets another point. Good job, KS. Look at you, two in a row. <laughs> so 
So that is amazing. Oh, where did it go? Where is my score? Okay, I see it now. Two points total. KS has two points. And now, KS, can you please let us know the next number? Okay, the next number. By the way, guys, um, the video thumbnails, you probably noticed that they are different. So, yeah, I have a more like simple video thumbnails. I think that's, uh, I like that. I like that very much. So, I hope you, you like them too. I hope you like them too. Because uh, they're, I don't know, they, they seem better. <laughs> Okay, so KS, can you please let us know the next number? Tres horizontal. Tres horizontal. So let's see that one. So that is three across. Remember, horizontal is across and vertical is down. <laughs> okay, so tres horizontal. Thank you, KS. Let's see where the word is. <laughs> okay, I see it, I see it. That's right here. And this word has six letters. Six letters. Seis horizontal. Tres horizontal is three across, guys. This is another noun. As I said before, we pretty much have nouns and just one verb. <laughs> so, tres horizontal has six letters and the definition is an amount of money owed for goods supplied or services rendered set out in a printed or written statement of charges okay so we're talking about a piece of paper <laughs> that tells you how much you owe <laughs> usually you get this at the end of your meal okay and uh, there's, there's a specific word for this in Spanish. So this word, usually you say it like, you know, when you want to just pay what you owe, <laughs> you're done eating, you're satisfied and you have to leave. So what do you have to do? Or what is the name of this noun? Okay, cuenta, KS, KS, you did it again, you did it again. La cuenta, la cuenta. So when you, well, let's see the answer first. Cuenta, cuenta, la cuenta. Usually when you are done eating, you can say la cuenta, por favor, la cuenta, por favor, and that means the bill, you know, the bill, please. And uh, <laughs> that is the meaning of this word. And KS has another point. Okay, great. Now, KS, can you please let us know the next number? Mm -hmm. <laughs> la cuenta cuenta has quite a quite some meanings like yeah it has more than one meaning of course uh, it can be a count it can mean a count uh, but if you're at a restaurant usually that means the bill you know or check please <laughs> Dos vertical, dos vertical. 
Uh -huh. Let's see. Dos vertical. That's two down. Two down. And that word is right here. Right here, guys. This word has seven letters. And let's see the definition. Two down is a noun, of course. And let's see. Let's see. Okay, so the definition is you, this is the first meal eaten. Okay, so we're talking about you should, well, when you order something, you order this first. And you can actually see the um that on the menu usually you you get those specific sections so what are what is the meal that is usually eaten first okay so we're not talking about the the main meal okay we're talking about something that you eat before And also it has seven letters, seven letters. I believe this kind of meal is, <laughs> is eaten. Um, usually it, sometimes they're like snacks. Sometimes they are like something not as heavy as the main meal that you eat. At the restaurant, and I see KS says desayuno and already saying tres horizontal. So, <laughs> no, <laughs> no KS, good guess, but it's not the, not the answer, not the answer. It's part of a whole meal, you know. Like usually when you go to a restaurant, uh, you order like different dishes sometimes you order soup first and then your main main course right uh, and then your dessert or whatever so what is the the first one the first meal that soup that you eat or let me let me give you more examples of this kind of meal It's not breakfast, guys. Okay. So some people, this kind of meal is something that is, it comes in small portions as well. It could be a salad. It could be some sort of um, soup. Okay, so that specific thing that you eat before at a restaurant. It could be some sort of snack. It could be some sort of, um, I don't know. Yeah, like soup, salad, all of that. What is that considered at restaurants? Do you know, guys? Or do you need another hint? KS says el almuerzo. El almuerzo, that sounds like a really good thing. Good guess, but it's not the answer. KS. Okay, so this is considered as an entree. That, that is the word, okay? That's an entree, a starter. How do you call this? In Spanish. Mm -hmm. A 
think that is the term in English. Okay, so I'm gonna help you guys. This is, how would you say, first course in Spanish? That is what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a meal per se. I'm just talking about a dish that you eat before your main course. <laughs> and um, this, this Spanish word is very similar to, I will say it's the same word that you would use to, <laughs> to, to refer to something else, to refer specifically to a door where you can enter. Usually at different businesses. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you uh, just one letter, letter E. That is the, uh, the first letter, okay? And how do you call this? How do you, I mean, how, what word am I talking about, guys? Do you know? First course, guys. <laughs> it's crazy because you can obviously see this title on menus, right? So it's like a section in the menu. And Kaya says aperitivo. Well, it's that's a great guess too, but it's not the answer. I'm gonna give you the last letter. This word ends in A. Okay, so do we have any idea? Also, this Spanish word is similar to... It's similar to <laughs> entrance, okay? <laughs> I'm pretty much telling you the answer. So if you want to translate entrance into Spanish, that is the word. For That's the word that we're looking for. Okay, but when you are at a restaurant, you can call this the first course. Okay, so usually soups, salads, and things like that. Sometimes it could be some snack or something like that. So, 10 seconds guys, and then I'll reveal the answer. Uh, uh -huh. Alive398, welcome Alive398. Um, <laughs> entrena, you, you were close, you were very close, but entrena means, uh, it's similar to, <laughs> it's like you're saying train, like training, training for something, entrena, entrenar, to train, uh, but it's not the answer. Great guess. You were super close. And William Lopez, you are correct, my friend. Welcome, by the way, William Lopez. And that is the answer. That is the answer. Entrada. Entrada. Believe it or not, this means first course. So, as I said, usually when you go to a restaurant, you order a salad, a soup or something like that. So that's what this is, okay? Entrada, la entrada. And that means first course. And William gets a point. Good job. Okay, so that was a tough one, huh? <laughs> I'm just gonna put William. And William has one point. Aha, uh -huh. so, William, can you please, oh, I forgot the number one here, uno. William, can you please let us know the next number? <laughs> we 
William Lopez is saying, I'm kind of cheating because I speak Portuguese. Haha. <laughs> well, you know what, William? That's completely fine. I mean, even if you speak Spanish, you're welcome to play because you will be practicing your English. And as I said before, if you speak English or any other language and you know the answer, you can say it in your language. Uh, the only thing is that you won't get the point because you have to say it in Spanish, but nevertheless, you can do that. <laughs> you can do that for sure. You can help others if they're having problems guessing the word. <laughs> so that's fine, William. Okay, William Lopez says nine. Okay, number nine. You got it. Let's see. Uh, nine is, well, we have nine across and nine down. Horizontal or vertical. So if you can let us know, William, across or down. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have two nines. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or any nine. Maybe, maybe any nine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, let's see. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna choose any nine. So we can okay, vertical, vertical. Thank you, William. And nueve vertical. Mm-hmm. That means nine down. Okay, nine down. William says there's a little delay. I understand that. <laughs> it usually happens when uh, live streaming, you get some delay, uh, but I'll be patient. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I'll be patient. <laughs> okay, so nine down, thank you, William. And let's see where that is. Nine down is right here. So it's a short word, that's good, for words, for letters only. So let's see, nine down is a noun and the definition is a list of dishes available in a restaurant. <laughs> Remember, this Spanish word has an accent mark, okay? So that's tricky. If you can use the accent mark, please do so. If not, that's okay, I understand. You can get the point. If you miss the accent mark, that's not a problem. Um, usually the spelling of this word, of this Spanish word is pretty much the same one as the English one. So how do you call a list of dishes available in a restaurant? <laughs> William Lopez, yes, that is correct. Uh, menu, el menu and you used perfectly that accent mark that sometimes is a bit tricky. So perfect grammar, thank you. <laughs> and uh, Chris Martin says tapas. Tapas is a different thing. Um, that's I think that's from Spain and it's usually some sort of like a slice of bread with things on top of the bread uh yeah so unfortunately unfortunately that's not the answer but great guest chris martin and welcome by the way yes that is the answer menu menu el menu menu and don't forget the accent mark on top of the letter u and that means the menu <laughs> okay menu el menu the menu okay Great. Um, Alive398 says, so menu, menu? Hmm, that's interesting, that's interesting. Okay, William gets another point. Oops. 
Uh-huh. One sec, guys. Okay, so... William has two points total. K is three points, so it's getting competitive. I like it. So, William, can you please let us know the next number? El menú. <clears throat> okay, thank you, William. And uh, number six, let's do that one. Okay, six across, guys. That is right here. Hmm, this might be a challenge. So let's see. This word has eight letters eight letters and it's probably gonna be a noun as well so six across the definition is and yes it's a noun <laughs> a pungent hot tasting powder prepared from dried and ground peppercorns commonly used as a spice or condiment to flavor food mm -hmm. so we're talking about some spice and um, it's pungent, hot tasting, um, <laughs> and it's prepared from dried and ground peppercorns, uh, commonly used as a spice or condiment to flavor food. Trent in Tampa, welcome Trent in Tampa, and um, aperitivo, it, aperitivo is not a spice <laughs> that's a great guess but it's not a spice um great guess though <laughs> uh trent in tampa it's not aperitivo aperitivo is similar to entrada okay it sounds like a it's it's more like a snack uh, but uh, that's not the answer. We're talking about a spice, guys. It's usually black, okay? And... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see some answers. And KS and William, both of you, both of you are correct, my, my friends. And um, that is pimienta. 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 And this means pepper. Uh, you know, black pepper. There's like red pepper too, I think. But yeah, black pepper. Pimienta. Pimienta. La pimienta. Just like William says, la pimienta. Because pimienta is feminine. La pimienta. So KS gets the point because he answered first. So uh, let me see. I'm gonna give you a point, KS. Okay, KS has four points so far and William two. Now, KS is saying, <laughs> Trent in Tampa says piltrafa. <laughs> That's a funny word, Trent. <laughs> okay, KS says tres horizontal. Tres horizontal. Okay, so that's three. Remember, horizontal is across, okay? Or like horizontal. <laughs> and vertical is down, okay? So I assume KS is saying three down because we only have one three. So let's do that one. <laughs> tres, tres vertical. Okay, so... Mm hmm that's right here okay yeah three across is cuenta and i think ks already yeah ks guessed that one so <laughs> that's okay ks i understand um yeah vertical yeah no worries okay three down guys that is that has six seven eight eight letters yeah, right? Yeah. Eight letters. And the first letter is the letter C. Huh. So let's see. Three down. 
Okay. So now we're talking... We're talking about some sort of job. I would say, yeah, just a job. And the definition, it's a noun, of course, as I said before. The definition is a man whose job is to serve customers at their tables in a restaurant, of course. And this word is usually used in Spain, okay? Uh, you can hear this word mainly in Spain. Uh, and the definition again, guys, a man whose job is to serve customers at, the tr at, at, the <laughs> at their tables in a restaurant, okay? And this word is used mainly in Spain. Do you know the answer? <laughs> Chris Martin says, Coracero, Coracero. Huh, Coracero? That's a, an interesting answer, but that's that's not the correct one. <laughs> Thank you, though. KS says camarero, camarero, and William Lopez also says camarero. And let me let me double check that. Camarero, yeah, yeah, camarero. Camarero is the answer, guys. Camarero, camarero. Camarero, camarero, el camarero, and that means the waiter, okay? <laughs> so, uh, Chris Martin says I spelled it wrong. I'm sorry, Chris, <laughs> you almost got it right, though. <laughs> KS gets the point. He was the first one to answer, so let's give a point to KS. Uh-huh. And that's five points so far for KS. William, too. And uh, William says, not fair. Haha, <laughs> for me, it seems that I replied first. Um, <laughs> just let me double check. Nope. <laughs> KS. KS. What? Let me see. Uh, I have to double check that. Uh, okay. Chris Martin was the first one to say Coracero and then KS Camarero. Aha. Uh -huh. So you can see the chat um, over here, guys. I don't know if you see it. it like on the, <laughs> on the right. You can see the chat <laughs> and that's the same thing i'm i'm looking at right now that's the same chat i'm looking at right now and uh k ks ks william it was ks camarero it's right here and then you were right here but you were so close i think both of you sent the answer at the same time but somehow well ks <laughs> came up first <laughs> Sorry about that, William. It was a great try, though. Great. I mean, you, yeah, you both answered correctly. Okay, so mm, let's see. Okay, yes, can you let us know the next number? Uh, okay, Trent in Tampa says mesero in Latin America. That's correct, mesero is usually used in Latin America. That's correct. Good point, Trent. Uh, Trent, I mean, William Lopez says, it's on my end. It's an error for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, that's weird. That's weird. KS, once horizontal, en el restaurante que trataría de hablar español con el camarero. En el restaurante trataría de hablar español con el camarero. Great example, KS. Thank you for sharing. I think you, yeah, you should speak Spanish to a uh, camarero, <laughs> especially if you're in Spain or in Latin America. <laughs> William Lopez says, but it's really okay. Okay, well, thank you, William. <laughs> que es once horizontal. Once horizontal. Que es, that's vertical. <laughs> 
that's okay. Uh, that's 11, 11 down, guys. 11 down. That's right here. And this word has five letters, five letters only. So it might be an easy one. I hope so. And this is a verb, guys. The only verb that we're going to talk about today. And um, the definition is request something to be made, supplied, or served. So this verb is about requesting at a restaurant, okay? And well, obviously you're asking for something to be made, supplied, or served. So what is the verb that you would use when you want to tell to El Camarero A, like, I need food. Can you please bring me this and this and this and this? You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, William, William, you're fast, my friend. And let me tell you, let me tell you that that is correct. That's correct. And we're talking about pedir, pedir. That is a very common Spanish verb. And that means in this situation, when you go to a restaurant, this means to order, okay? To order, especially food. <laughs> okay, so yeah, William, you got it. You get the point, my friend. Okay, William. Aha, uh -huh. let's give you a point. Okay, KS five points, William three points. That's the score so far, guys. Now, William, can you please let us know the next number? <laughs> William, William Lopez says, yay, yay. <laughs> uh, I like that, I like that. <laughs> Ten next please okay so let's do that let's do that number 10 guys number 10 and yeah that's right here mm -hmm. this word has seven letters seven letters guys 10 down okay 10 down the definition is Obviously, this is going to be a noun, <laughs> FYI, and the definition is a sum of money given to someone, usually to el camarero, as a reward for their services, okay? If you get a good camarero, usually you give this to, to that person, a sum of money given to someone as a reward for their services. So it's a noun, guys. Remember, it's a noun. Uh, and yeah, sometimes I think you, I think in Spain, they don't like this. But in Latin America, usually they, they really like this, um, this, <laughs> this kind of thing. And K, KS and William, oh my God, you guys almost sent the answer at the same time. And that's correct. That's correct, my friends. KS and William are correct. Propina. Propina. Excellent. And that means tip, you know, the tip. Just a tip that you give to your camarero or mesero because they did a great job. Uh, sometimes even if they do, if, even if they don't do a great job, sometimes you have to give, give them tips, a tip or something like that. So yeah. La propina, that's feminine, <laughs> and that means the tip. <laughs> okay, so uh, KS was the first one. <laughs> Sorry, William. <laughs> KS was the first one to answer. And let's give the point to KS. So KS has so far six points, William three. Okay, uh, Chris Martin says consejos, con advices. Well, you could, you could, you could do that. I mean, you you could give someone an advice. Um, 
I don't know, maybe. <laughs> That's a great answer too, Chris. Thank you. Uh, William Lopez says, in Portuguese, propina means bribe and it's kind of offensive. Oh, I didn't know that. That's very interesting. Bribe. Propina. La propina. Bribe. Huh. That's, wow. Thank you for sharing, Williams. I mean, William. <laughs> uh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I know that Portuguese and Spanish are quite similar. Um, I, I love to learn Portuguese. I think it sounds very cool. Uh, so hopefully one day I can learn Portuguese. <laughs> um, okay. So, KS, can you please let us know the next number? Mm -hmm. the, you know, William, in Spanish, bribe is, at least in Mexico, is la mordida. It's like saying the bite, <laughs> la mordida. Uh, and that means bribe, the bribe. So it's quite interesting. I know that a lot of Portuguese people... I mean, or people from Brazil or Portugal, essentially people who speak Portuguese, they understand Spanish a lot. I think it's easier for them to understand Spanish than Spanish speakers understand Portuguese. I, I believe so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, KS is saying, estoy pensando en aprender portugués. So KS would like to learn Portuguese as well. So that's 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 good. That's good. Uh, <laughs> KS, can you please let us know the next number? <laughs> William Lopez says, very interesting. Yeah, la mordida. <laughs> yeah, that's that's very interesting for sure. Okay, KS. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six words left. And uh, there's one that is a bit long. That's for one down and four across. So let's see if someone wants to guess that. <laughs> Okay, yes. Okay, cinco vertical. Cinco vertical. Aha, that's correct. Okay, yes, and you got it. Let's see, that's five down. Five down, guys. And that's right here. The last letter is the letter A, and this word has six letters. So let's see what this word is all about. This is a noun, and the definition is a woman whose job is to serve customers at their tables in a restaurant. And this term is used mainly in Latin America. <laughs> So yeah, guys, now we're not talking about Spain. We're talking about Latin America and um, it's a noun. It's it's a <laughs> it's a, a tough job for sure. It's similar to camarero, but it's about a woman whose job is to serve customers at their tables in a restaurant. Trent in Tampa. Trent in Tampa is saying mesera, mesera. And let me tell you, Trent, that you are correct. Mesera, mesera, la mesera. If you want to say this in Spain or this word in Spain, you could say camarera. <laughs> I believe so. Uh, so la mesera, that means the waitress, okay? Uh, camarero means the waiter or el camarero, the waiter. Mesera, la mesera, the waitress. Um, so, <laughs> William Lopez says criada. Criada is a bit different in Spanish. Uh, criada, 
Uh, it's it's a bit. That's a. I don't know. <laughs> it's an impolite word to refer to someone who does all the um, cleaning around the house. Usually, you pay a lady, the cleaning lady, uh, criada, and it's a, a bit impolite to call someone that <laughs> just so you know guys <laughs> but trent you're correct so i'm gonna give you the point my friend uh-huh so let's just duplicate this name and i'm just gonna trent i'm just gonna put trent there and trent gets one point good job my friend and yeah, it's not Criada William, <laughs> uh, but uh, good try. <laughs> Chris Martin says, Conocerá, conocerá. I think that's a bit different. That's a verb. <laughs> and uh, it's similar to saying, uh, will know, or something like that. <laughs> like he or she will know. <laughs> So that's interesting, Chris. Uh, Trent in Tampa says, one down, plato principal. No way. Okay, remember guys, I need to highlight the word first before you start guessing. That's the rules. That's the rules, guys. Trent, I'm gonna highlight one down but as soon as i highlight the word you can start guessing guys because otherwise it will be a bit um i don't know unfair <laughs> so i'm gonna highlight it and whoever says the answer with you can say it without me reading the definition and you don't need me to read the definition but let me highlight the word first guys so I'm gonna highlight it and then you can start answer guys this is the word and it has three six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen letters okay so Trent <laughs> you know what to do uh, okay, so the first word, the first letter is the letter P, and then we have the letter A and another P. Okay. Uh, Training Tampa says, type fast, William. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna read the definition. This is a noun, and this has two, two words, guys. Two words. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it has two words and the definition is the most substantial course of a meal okay so it's just a meal that is like the biggest one that you eat at a restaurant okay so we said that entrada means first course then you usually get this meal after la entrada okay and it's the most the most substantial course or meal okay so how do you call this in spanish <laughs> trend in tampa kind of help <laughs> i would say he helped a lot and i don't know if <laughs> if he wants to to answer uh, but remember guys as soon as I highlight the the word you can start guessing just wait for for me to highlight words guys because otherwise it will be unfair I remember uh, we had I remember it was a months ago we were doing some crossword puzzle and a lot of people guessed a bunch of different words uh and it, it it got a little unfair so i told them let's just let's just do that let let me highlight the words first okay so no one wants this <laughs> this point uh i'm sorry rules this is the rule 
So whoever tells me what is the most substantial course of a meal or just a big meal, <laughs> the, the main meal. <laughs> okay, uh, William. William is saying plato principal, plato principal. And that is correct. I'm sorry, Trent, but uh, I, I, I have to do that. I mean, I've, I've done it since that day when that happened and you guys really like that rule. So that's why we're doing it. Plato principal, that is the answer. Plato principal means, do you know what this means, guys? Main course, main course. So the big meal that you eat at a restaurant um, and yeah. So William gets the point. El plato principal, plato is the first word, principal, the second word, and yeah, the, it's pretty much like, this literally means the main dish, okay? <laughs> so, um, or yeah, the main dish, that's the, the meaning, and William gets the point. Okay, William has a point, and the score is KS6, William 4, and Trent 1, perfect. Okay, so William, let us know, please let us know the next number. And also William says, I've just started learning, or trending Tampa first said, I got to run, so I don't need the point. Take care, amigos, amigas, hasta pronto. Okay, well, take care as well, Trent. Thank you for joining us for uh, a few minutes. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, well, have a good evening. William Lopez says, I've just started learning Spanish and it really bugs me sometimes. Portuguese can be so similar that that's, that's it's very easy to talk nonsense, haha, <laughs> just like criada, haha. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, every language is very different, even if they sound quite similar. But yeah, yeah, um, but I think it's easier to learn uh, another language, especially when that language is similar similar than, than yours. So yeah, um, William says, doce por favor. Thank you for sharing, William, though. Like, yeah, I totally understand. <laughs> I totally understand. Um, okay, so let's see where 12 is. Doce, 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 <laughs> doce horizontal, doce horizontal is right here. The second letter is the letter E or I in English, E in Spanish. And uh, let's see, let's read the definition. It has five letters, guys, and this is a noun. The definition is a separate seat for one person person typically with a back and four legs so we're talking about some sort of seat <laughs> and uh, it's only for one person typically with a back and four legs so this is quite easy this is a very easy word and obviously restaurants have this <laughs> a lot of them uh, and yeah Life of Pi! <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> Where were you, Life of Pi? <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you for being here, Life of Pi. Uh, so, yeah, that's the answer. La silla. La silla means the chair. Okay? La silla. The chair. And Life of Pi gets a point. Okay, Life of Pi. Okay, Life of Pi has one point. And <laughs> now she's saying, Hola a todos, jeje. <laughs> Hola, Life of Pi. <laughs> 
and uh, she's saying nine porfa or nueve porfa. Uh, Chris Martin, chair, that's correct. That was the answer. But in Spanish, that's la silla, la silla. Um, <laughs> okay, so nine, number nine, number nine. This is almost over, guys. <laughs> and uh, let me highlight the number nine um that will be nine across Ooh, we can see two letters already letter m and letter a <laughs> okay so this is a noun of course and the definition is a cloth spread over a table especially during meals so this is a cloth spread over a table, especially during meals. Hmm. <laughs> Life of Pi. She's quick. She is quick. And yeah, that's correct. Life of Pi. We're talking about mantel. Mantel. Okay. El mantel. So mantel is masculine, guys. And that means the tablecloth <laughs> and yes that's correct good job life of pi uh, let's give you a point <laughs> okay so life of pi has two points so far ks six points ks is leading then william has four points trent one and life of pi two okay let's see what happens this is getting interesting. Uh, <laughs> Life of Pi says, Me uní tan tarde. It's okay, Life of Pi. No worries. It's good to read you. So, yeah. It, it's, it, that's what it matters. <laughs> okay. Life of Pi says, Cuatro, porfa. Cuatro. Número cuatro. Okay. Número cuatro. That's right here. And that's number four. Uh, ooh, four across, guys. Ooh, this is the word. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. William Lopez says, Life of Pi está en, ot en otro nivel. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, well, Life of Pi is a champion. Like, she has, she has won twice already this month. And um, yeah, like she's a champ for sure. Uh, <laughs> okay, so the first letter is the letter R, then letter E. We have two A's or two A's. <laughs> and the last letter of this word is letter E. Okay, so let's see. Uh, three, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 letters, guys. This is gonna be tough. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> this is another noun, guys. And the definition is. Oh, this is easy. This this is gonna this is gonna be easy, guys. You can start guessing if you know the answer. Um, so this is a place where people pay to sit and eat meals that are cooked and served on the premises. <laughs> so yeah, we were talking about this place so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Life of Pi. Life of Pi. KS is also correct. Yes, that is correct. Restaurante. You really have to roll your R right there. Restaurante. Restaurante. Uh, Life of Pi says, no, mi nivel es principiante. I don't believe it, Life of Pi. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know a lot of Spanish already. That's, that's crazy, my friend. And amazing as well restaurante el restaurante that's masculine and that means 
the restaurant. So this is a very easy Spanish word to, rem to remember because it's pretty much the same as the English one. You just have to add the letter E at the end. So yeah, el restaurante. Uh, yeah, so KS is also correct. Uh, William is also correct. And Chris, almost, almost, <laughs> almost correct. So Life of Pi gets another point. Okay. Uh -huh. So we only have one left. One left, guys, and that would be it. So let's see. Let me highlight it first. Mm -hmm. So eight, that's eight across. And this is the word, guys. You can start answering. Um, Life of Pi says, I know some words. Speaking is very chal challenging for me. Well, let me tell you, Life of Pi, that there's going to be an option. Well, I'll, let me tell you when we're done with this. Uh, because... <laughs> well, let me just... Yeah, I... Let, just give me a minute. I'll tell you at the end of this live stream. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I mean, William technically answered correctly. And then Life of Pi <laughs> says, Déjame adivinar sal. Ha ha ha. So, yes, that is the answer, guys. Sal. Sal. I didn't, I didn't have to read <laughs> the, the, the definition. But this, this word means salt. Okay? Salt. If you remove the letter T, you get the Spanish word for salt. So, sal, sal means salt. And remember, guys, this is feminine. So, you can say la sal. La sal. Okay? The salt. So, William actually gets the point because he's technically correct. That is the word. Uh, life of Pi. Well, <laughs> You, you guys were close. You guys were close. Uh, but yeah, William gets the point. Let me just give you the point, William. And ooh, it was close. It was close. KS got six points. William, five. Trent, one. And Life of Pi, three points. Okay, so we can see or before we and we say officially who won this i know you know already but um let me just read the whole all the words okay all the words really fast so you can read the words with me and just practice your pronunciation okay so let's see let's use let me use a different color okay let's Let's use the color. Yeah, I was gonna say yellow, but we just used that. <laughs> so let's use the green color. Okay, you can read with me, guys. Postre. Postre. Dessert. Or el postre, the dessert. Plato principal. Plato principal, uh, the main course or the main dish. El plato principal, that's masculine, guys. Pimienta, pimienta, la pimienta, the pepper, black pepper specifically. La mesera, la mesera, the waitress. El camarero, el camarero, the waiter, the waiter and used in Spain, cuenta, la cuenta, the bill, or the check, silla, silla, la silla, the chair, la propina, la propina, the tip, el restaurante, el restaurante, the restaurant, Pedir, pedir, to order. La entrada, la entrada, 
entry, the entry or the first course. El menú, el menú, the menu. El mantel, el mantel, the tablecloth. La mesa, la mesa, the table. And lastly, la sal, la sal, the salt. Okay, so that's some basic Spanish restaurant vocabulary. I hope you like this video. And now let's just read the score really quickly. Um, KS yes, six points, William five points, Trent in Tampa one point, and Life of Pi three points. And guys, officially, the winner, today's winner is KS, KS. Congratulations, KS. Uh, you, you're a winner, KS. You really know Spanish and, um, well, you should be proud of yourself, my friend. <laughs> You're really good at, you know, guessing Spanish words. <laughs> and um, that's amazing, KS. Yes, William, too. Like that, you, you were great, my friend, as well. Life of Pi, of course. You are a champ. And Trent. Thank you for, you, you're, you're, you know Spanish too, my friend, and thank you for joining us. And uh, let me tell you guys that we keep a monthly score as well, and Life of Pi is the winner of, you know, like she won the most times this month. So let me tell you, let me tell you something, Life of Pi, I hope you're still here. You can that's optional but the person who wins every month that person has a chance to participate on some podcast episode on, on this channel of course uh, so if you're interested in part participating life of pi you can send me an email Okay, you can send me an email to, let me tell you, where is the email? Here it is, to hola at smlessons.com. If you're interested, as I said, it's optional. And uh, just just tell me, hey, I'm Life of Pi. I would like to be part of a podcast episode. And uh, what can we do, right? Just just send me, send me an email. Uh, <laughs> And let me know if you want to be part of one podcast episode. Usually you will give your opinion on whatever thing we're talking about on, on the topic that we will talk about in the future. We have podcast episodes every Wednesday. Uh, yesterday we had one. So if you missed that, please just check my channel and you, you're going to be able to find it really easily. Uh, so yeah. You, Life of Pi, you won. You're the winner. <laughs> you know, and oh, well, KS won today, and Life of Pi is the uh, one this month. And uh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. You are amazing. You are amazing, all of you. And uh, let me know if you have any questions right now. Uh, let's let's read some of your comments. Okay, so. Um, KS says, la victoria es mía. <laughs> That's correct, KS. <laughs> la victoria es tuya. <laughs> and uh, William says, mm, la sal. Yes, la sal. <laughs> Chris Martin says, great name, great game. Time for bed now in Barcelona. <laughs> Thank you, Chris, for joining us. I hope, well, I'm glad you like this crossword puzzle. So thank you for tuning in. KS says, Hablar es muy difícil para mí. Um, that's okay. That's okay. I mean, whenever you're learning a new language, that happens. That happens. So I think the important part of it is just to speak the language. Even if you don't speak the language correctly or or whatnot, just, just speak it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> William Lopez says, great game, KS. Greetings 
from Sao Paulo, Sugar. Well, thank you so much, William, for tuning in as well. Uh, I mean, saludos hasta Sao pa Paulo, Sao Paulo. And yeah, that's great that you're you're in Brazil, my friend. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. And you guessed many words, my friend. So that's that's pretty cool. Thank you for for that. Um, let me. Well, William also says, "Keep up with the great content." Thank you so much. William and thank you so much everyone you are amazing you're the best and uh, I wish you a great evening and once again thank you William for that last comment uh, it's it's greatly appreciated uh, <laughs> thank you my friend and all of you guys you are incredible <laughs> well have a great evening uh, take care of yourselves remember to like this video if you liked it and share it with your friends if you if that's another way to support this channel um, and also please check out the memberships click on the join button down below if you can if you have a minute just to to know more about the perks that you can get when getting a membership so take care of yourselves as i said like two times already probably <laughs> so be safe and uh well i'll see you next time bye bye adios